Tom Brady, the GOAT, he'll be back in Tampa Bay for the game between the Eagles and Bucks this Sunday. No, he's not coming out of retirement. He's going to be the announcer for Fox at 1 o'clock Eastern. But more importantly, I do think there's a money-making opportunity in this game. I'm going to give you a full analysis and a free play in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down Eagles at Buccaneers, 1 o'clock Eastern this Sunday, once again on Fox National TV, and Tom Brady will be one of the announcers in the booth. But the big question, of course, is the mindset of Tampa Bay, the fans, after the devastating Category 4 hurricane smashed in on Thursday night. Now, I'm recording this video on Friday afternoon. As of now, the game is on. It does look like the weather will clear, maybe some showers on Sunday. Uh, the Eagles should be able to get into Tampa fine, but you do have to worry about distractions lingering, especially for the Bucks, and also maybe some distractions for the Eagles as far as getting there a little bit closer to game time than normal. So I'm going to stay away from the side. I think the total, though, does have some value, and if there is some you know, inconsistencies, I think the offense might feel it with the game plans, and this is a Tampa Bay offense that definitely needed some extra practice this week, which they did not get during the storm, and this is a team that only put up seven points at home last week against the uh, the flagging Denver Broncos. So once again, I do think this Tampa Bay offense has some problems. And let's not forget, yes, they look good against the uh, Washington, not my Washington Commanders, in Week 1. 280 passing yards, over 9 yards per pass. But the passing offense has not been there the last couple weeks. They've had 146 and 132 passing yards, barely over 5 yards per pass attempt the last two games against Detroit and Denver. And now they're stepping up, facing a pretty good Eagles secondary uh, Philadelphia Eagle pass defense has been solid so far this season. Uh, Philadelphia allowing just 6.9 yards per pass, and that seems high, but when you consider the opponents they've played, it's very impressive. Their three opponents have averaged 8 yards per pass in the season. Eagles have held them to just 6.9, and that includes Green Bay, Atlanta, and New Orleans. Yes, Jordan Love, Kirk Cousins, and Derek Carr, uh, three quarterbacks that are better than what they'll face this week. So I do think the Eagles can limit the Tampa Bay passing attack. The Eagles' weakness this year has been their run defense, but New Orleans has shown no signs of being able to run the ball offensively. So it's a good matchup, I think, for the Eagle defense. Also might be a decent matchup, though, for the Tampa defense uh, for similar reasons when you look at the matchups here. Philadelphia is more of a run-based team, obviously. Five yards per rush this season. Um, they've thrown the ball okay, about seven yards per pass, but 70% completions. A lot of those are short passes, and I do think Tampa Bay can limit that. Bucks are giving up just six yards per pass attempt this season. Philadelphia last week, by the way, they were trailing 3 nothing, even though they had outgained New Orleans 284-89 to in total yards entering the fourth quarter. They still trailed 3 nothing. This Eagles team just hasn't been the same since the middle of last season. Keep in mind, Philadelphia started last year 10-1 and straight up. After losing the Super Bowl, they came right back 10-1 and straight up and then went 1-6 and six down the stretch. They're now just 3-7 and seven straight up their last 10 games since that 10-1 and one start last season. So let's look at the total here once again. Tampa and Philly under current line at wagertalk.com live odd screen is around 43, 42 and a half is also showing. Uh, once again, shop around 42 and a half, 43. I like Tampa and Philly under the total on Sunday afternoon at one o'clock Eastern on Fox. Hey, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game. What else you're seeing as we go into this weekend uh, with the uh, travel for the Eagles also and the uh, lingering effects of the hurricane down there and how that might affect this game. Also, what other NFL players are you looking at for Sunday? And include some player props. Always love the player props with analysis when you have time. Drop them in the comments. I do read all the comments, and I'll reply back here on Wager Talk TV. Thumbs up, like is always appreciated for these free play videos. And don't forget also, when you subscribe, click that bell for an instant alert so you get these free play videos when they're ready throughout the week football, and baseball. And also, don't forget my NFL Fade the Public video week four edition is available here on the channel this weekend. So click subscribe and click that bell for instant alerts. Just red hot run as we ended our, if I'm recording this on Friday, on a 31-12 and 12 baseball run. And that includes three extra inning losses over the past week. And we're still 31-12 and 12 in baseball. That's how good the season's been. College football, number one. NFL and college football, ATS profit combined the last two seasons, number one, including 10 and four the last two weekends in football. And the NBA starts in a few weeks. I'm number one the last three years on NBA profits combined. Number one a couple years ago as well in college hoops. Yes, not a bad time to get an all sports all access. And the time is even better this weekend because right now when you buy the three-month package, you get the fourth month included for free. Once again, buy a three-month 90-day all access and you get another 30 days, a fourth month included for free. It's a $299 value for free. No promo code needed. Check it out on my page right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker 
with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Be sure to check out those daily free plays also. I post a free play every day on my page with analysis. You can follow me also on X and Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.